Hello students, today in this video we will learn how to change reported speech when the question given to us will be in dialogue form. So there is no special rule for this, it is as usual the same rules we have to follow which we have learnt in our previous videos. So please let's start question number one and please take care of one thing that I'm not going to write down the answers here you have to listen carefully and while listening you have to answer you have to note down those answers in your notebook too okay take the screenshot of the questions listen to me carefully and answer the question in your notebook so let's see first exercise is first exercise says Simran what do you like to eat in the morning? The second dialogue is of Abhijit. I like to eat snacks. So what generally happened here that uh, whatever the two category, the two names are given here. So you have to, it is not given like Simran said to Abhijit. It is understood that Simran said to Abhijit. That one is talking to the second one. So here what? Simran you have to see the nature of the uh, this first dialogue that what is this if it is question or the simple sentence or the command right so that you have to take care so here this is what what do you like to eat in the morning this is what interrogative sentence so here you have to add what simran asked whom abhijit right so simran asked abhijit what he liked to eat in the morning because see here do is there and do I have told you that do you cannot change into did right so what you will do do you have to change with the verb second of this so that would be liked so the answer would be Simran asked Abhijit what he liked to eat in the morning full stop okay and then abhijit uh, is saying that i like to eat snacks so here what you will do abhijit replied because this is the reply so here you will do abhijit replied r e p l i e d replied that because the reply is in simple sentence so there you have to do abhijit replied that he liked to eat snacks he liked to eat snacks because he because here is what like so that was first verb we have to change into second verb so that's why this is your answer please listen this once again and note down so here simran asked abhijit what did he like to eat in the morning abhijit replied that he liked to eat snacks that's it this is your dialogue completion here clear which was in which was given in direct speech and you have changed that into indirect speech your question will be like this change this direct speech into uh, this dialogue into uh, in, uh, into indirect speech so like this you have to do that please to take care of this uh, question tags and full stop where we have to use you cannot apply the uh, question marks in your answers in your indirect speech means okay let's see question number it's quite simple you have to see the nature of the sentence that is uh, that is only the way to solve this Ex exercise number two is teacher student teacher student means the dialogue is going on between the teacher and the student right so here teacher is saying what is your name what is your name to whom he is asking to student right so what you will do the teacher asked the student the teacher asked the student now question is there so you will not apply that and you cannot apply if also because this is wh family question right so the teacher asked the student what his name was what his name was here i want to tell you one thing here teacher and student is there but uh, you can uh, do here his or her anything but here in this question the name is given ankit right so here you have, have to do only his 
so the teacher asked the student what his name was full stop okay then student uh, is replying here so the student replied that because it is what it is simple sentence so the student replied that his name was ankit so the student replied that his name was ankit right now teacher have you done your homework now teacher is further asking her, uh, ankit the question so what you will do the teacher further asked ankit or the student you may do anything now because you have got the name also and student also so it is better that you will do student so the teacher further ask the student if because have is given this question is starting from have so here you will do if the te the, the teacher further ask the student if he had because this have changes into had if he had done your work changes into his his homework right next is student yes sir so here you will not do yes okay here it, it is what the student replied positively or you will do the student said yes uh, the student said he had done because you are taking this helping verb here and you have to guess in such type of questions that what helping verb you have to use you cannot directly write down yes sir or no ma'am or like that okay in this indirect speech so here you have to take help of this report this helping verb that what is in the question right so according to that helping verb you have to answer here so what the student answered the student answered that he had done right so he had done his homework you may do or directly he had done full stop okay let's see once again the complete answer listen carefully the teacher asked the student what his name was the student replied that his name was ankit right the teacher further asked the student if he had complete if he had done his homework so the student replied uh, that he had done full stop and your dialogue is finished okay so like this you have to answer next is exercise number 3 it's a dialogue between meenu tina right so what let's see what meenu is saying and what tina is answering so first is question it may be uh, you know that imperative sentence also so we have to see accordingly here it is question given to you meenu where has your brother gone so meenu asked whom tina so what is your answer meenu asked tina where her brother had gone right because your brother that changes into her has changes into had and rest will be same right so meenu asked tina where her brother had gone full stop tina answered so what is there tina answered he has gone to school so what is answer tina answered that he had gone to school tina answered that he had gone to school now again meenu asked the question so further meenu further asked when is he likely to come back so meenu further asked tina when he was likely to come back full stop when he was likely to come back tina answered uh, at half past 2 right at half past 2 directly you will answer here let's li uh, listen once again meenu asked tina where her brother had gone tina answered that 
he had gone to school meenu further asked tina when he was likely to come back tina answered that he will come at half past 2 or directly you will do tina answered at half past 2 right so like this you have to solve the exercises when it is given in report uh, dialogue form let let's see uh, exercise number 4 that's a dialogue between rani and shopkeeper clear so rani is asking to the shopkeeper do you have a comic shopkeeper is answering no i don't have but i have a good novel rani is saying can i see it shopkeeper said sure so here also in this class you have to see the helping verb of this one right you cannot directly write on sure here that shopkeeper answered sure okay something else we have to do that i'll tell you let's see first the first dialogue so rani asked the shopkeeper question is with helping verb so what you have to do if rani asked the shopkeeper if he had a comic full stop if he had a comic shopkeeper answered now here two questions are two things two sentences are given one is uh, one is denying and one is saying something else right so the shopkeeper answered negatively and said i did not have okay or directly you will say shopkeeper said that he did not have no need to write on this denied and all that so shopkeeper said that he did not have but he had a good novel okay so how we have done the shopkeeper said he did not have don't have changes into did not have he did not have but he had a novel okay now rani further asked him or rani asked the shopkeeper can i see it can is what helping verb so here you have to do if if she could see it changes into that so rani asked the shopkeeper if she could see it can changes into could and it changes into that so here the shopkeeper answered what sure now here we have to take the helping verb of this upper dialogue right so shopkeeper said yes she could right can we have directly done here yes she could so like this you have to uh, you know plan something that which helping verb you have to use in such type of questions where it is yes or no or sure like of words are given here in your exercises let's uh, listen this once again rani asked the shopkeeper if he had a comic full stop shopkeeper answered he didn't have but he had a good novel full stop rani further asked the shopkeeper if uh, if she could see that shopkeeper answered uh, that she could shopkeeper answered that she could okay so exercise number 5 is now and uh, this is saying do you want to eat food and this is the dialogue between mother and son right so first one is the question from a mother to her son do you want to eat food so what you will say the mother said to said to sorry it is asked the mother asked her son or the mother asked son if he wanted to eat food because son is there so we have to do if so mother asked son or her son if he wanted to eat food full stop son replied that he was feeling hungry or the son replied positively and said he was feeling hungry 
mother ordered him to go and sit at the dining table so mother ordered him because this sentence given it's not simple it's imperative sentence so you have to do the mother ordered uh, the son to go and sit at the dining table so listen once again mother asked her son if he wanted to eat food full stop the son replied that uh the son replied positively and said he was feeling hungry full stop mother ordered the son to go and sit at the dining table so students it's quite easy only you have to concentrate on the structure of the sentence whatever it is given whether it is uh, sorry interrogative simple or imperative according to that you have to change but you have to stick with some type of like i have told you in this two exercises here yes no and sure type of question uh, means dialogues you have to add the helping verbs which are given on the upper dialogue which are asked in the questions okay so like this you have to do please take the screenshot of the exercises and uh, listen the answers which we have discussed here and please note down carefully thank you very much